here's where the new compressor lives right in place of the old one and I forgot to mention uh, at the end of the other video that I actually did not overfill it with oil like I thought because once you put air in those tires the back end comes up a bit because it wasn't sitting level so now it reads uh, just about right so anyway that doesn't really make much of a difference because I'm gonna try to resurrect the old one I've been reading about unloader valves and how all the crap works and that and Everything I've read says that if the unloader valve is hissing and pissing shit out, it's going to be the check valve. And the check valve is located right in that doohickey, right in the corner there. Okay. Now, that check valve I know has had a problem because this compressor will not want to start. Now, first of all, you can see how filthy the oil is there. That's number one. It's probably due to be changed, but, uh, you know kind of doesn't make sense to do that to a piece of shit but anyways uh, if you look in there there's that spring with that red thing that's a spare check valve and o-ring that I had saved from one of the many of these that I had to bring back so <laughs> first of all let's do a run-up test and see first a if this thing is gonna start because even though the unloader valve has already let out the pressure over the head in the cylinder here um, and it's done all that and it's already leaked out whatever supposedly this check valve is leaking the compressor generally will not start when there's pressure in the tank and it's cold and it hasn't been on I don't know why that one is but anyway it's plugged in Hopefully this cord has enough gauge on it to even start it, but if not, we'll try emptying it and try it. So anyway, I'm going to just cut tape for a second and uh, start a new video just to make it easier. Okay, here's the old one. Let's see if it starts. Nope, see? And the uh, circuit breaker pops. And when I do that, it goes psh and it lets the pressure out. So you think, oh, okay, it should start now. We'll reset that. Try it again, you'll see it'll just die. It tried. Reset it one more time. That thing's getting kind of hot, so it's probably gonna pop real quick. I can't even reset it yet. There, I just reset. So now what we're going to do is empty the tank and uh, then it'll fire up. So I'm just going to pull the uh, safety valve here just because it's easy. Okay, that should be enough. Now we'll try it. Now if you listen, you'll hear some clanking and clattering and all kinds of good shit.
Now you heard that psh, which indicates it let the damn pressure out. So that means that if I let pressure out of the tank and it goes down to its cut-in pressure, it should restart. And again, I'll pop the valve here and you'll see it will. Okay, it stopped. Uh, I had to run to the back for a minute, but I'm back. And you can clearly hear it's leaking. So, next step is to drain the tank and uh, open that guy up. So, uh, I'll come right back and we'll do that. Okay, tank's drained. Uh, drain valve is open. You can see all the crap on the ground there from the drainings. And now, it wasn't even that tight even. Interesting. I wonder if that could have just been it. Let's see if I can actually unscrew it by hand, yeah. Okay. So it's there, and it's rubber, and it comes out like that. I knew that. And it's just a thing in a spring, and it sure looks like it's been seeding. So I don't know. There's nothing dirty in there. It's all fine. So we'll put it back together and tighten her down good and try it again and see what happens and then we can always swap out for the other one. Okay, I have it now to the point where I'm afraid to tighten it anymore because uh, I think I'll shear it off. So uh, we're going to leave it there. I'm going to close that up and we'll do another run up and uh, I'll come back and we'll see if it leaks. Apparently China failed that test, it's still leaking. I certainly hear it leak. So, I guess we'll swap in the other one and try it again. I'll even swap out the O-ring. Okay, here's the old one out. Still seems rubbery enough. The old O-ring. <coughs> Put that together there. New one's in. We'll give this a shot. I'll let it pump up. I'll come back. No more air compressor for you, made in China. Not for you. Compressor on roller valve fail. Piece of fucking shit. Yeah, it's all over the interwebs. Just change the unloader valve, it'll be fine. I mean, the, uh, the check valve, it'll be fine. And I had a spare. But no, 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 you can't. You can't now, you know. So I didn't. And that's that. So it still leaks, so I'm going to put the old one back and save that shit, and it's something in there. I don't know. We tried. Great. Thanks, interwebs.